A conversation has started already in the studio. Welcome back to TV3 New Day and uh, join us as always on 020 That's our WhatsApp line. I've seen a lot of your comments on the insurance uh, conversation we had earlier with Bella on, on the on Facebook thread. We'll try and share a bit of your comments with the rest of the wonderful world. But you can always join us and with your thoughts and comments and questions. My guest this morning, Mr. George AZ, he is the National Public Relations Officer of the National Disaster Management Organization is here, and also Comrade Mutala Mohammed. He doesn't like to be called an honorable uh, Mutala Mohammed, but he's a former deputy minister for trade, a former member of parliament who is also in the race for the Tamale Central uh, constituency and hopefully to win it. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Yeah, How are you doing? Good morning. Why are you nodding your head like that? Beautiful suit. Borrowed, borrowed clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Can George. I say good morning to Dr. Yas? Uh, uh, absolutely. Okay. Tamale <laughs> <laughs> Central. Don't embarrass him. You keep on calling me doctor. Don't embarrass him. Well, good morning well, to his, Dr. Yas. His doctor is fine out. PhD. His name is there. Just Google it's it. It's honorary course. Oh, fine out. Okay. And I told him to tell him. Find out. You keep on doing that. You will put him into trouble. <laughs> okay. Christmas. Christmas is coming. George. Any plans, any wishes quickly so we clear them out? Yeah, good morning we... to you and the comrade Motala Mohammed and your viewers, uh, your production crew. Uh, we wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Uh, <coughs> we wish uh, members of the elephant family a Merry Christmas. Uh, you know, just last Saturday, we, sorry, Sunday, we had our national conference in the rally. Mm -hmm. uh, we wish all Ghanaians a Merry Christmas. Uh, uh, the prospects are good. Uh, there's hope into the future. Uh, I saw the traffic from Friday mm. uh, up till yesterday in yeah. Accra is mind-boggling. And so if I sit down and I hear people saying people are not buying things and purchasing, maybe they're just taking a walk through the streets of Accra. <laughs> you get it, the business is booming. And so uh, this is just the beginning. The dividends are going to be gotten uh, hereafter with a solid foundations lead. So uh, uh, there's a saying I can't the uh, NMC and the future looks the, the, the bright. The vice president says they are reducing the the suffering of Ghanaians. Yes, gradually. Gradually. But but he promised that there was a hundred day promise that we were going to end it. Oh, hundred day where is the reduction? magic <laughs> Hundred, no, hundred. You remember the hundred day promises? No, I don't know about the hundred. You don't remember the hundred day promises? I must give us a hundred day to clean Accra. But you don't, you don't remember hundred. Vice President uh, Balmain's no, no, hundred day promises? No, no, he did hundred day, you know, accounting. Okay, <laughs> the hundred days, the achievements, and so that's when he spoke about the key uh, to the dollar thrown into the Syria, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah. the IGP. The IGP. But, but the dollar has been rising since. Uh, don't worry. The city has fallen like a Ooh. mango. No, no. And, and he stated it at our conference, uh, average of 18 vis-a-vis -vis 8.7. Come on. <laughs> the better managers are but, there. But if you, if, you, if you trade with dollars, George. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, no, they have you, that you, you, factor. You'll be it's heartbroken. True. It's true. It's that, true. Look, it's each true. time you want to go and yeah, buy something yeah, from outside yeah, imports yeah. Uh, or export. No, no, it, it's, it's, it's not too Your pleasant. is weak. It's, it's not too pleasant, you get it. And so the, the policy decisions this government is rolling out, okay, is gradually and ultimately going to culminate in getting our ability to stem that mm. because a lot of things are going to be produced within. Okay, I'm talking the 1D1F and then the industrialization policy that we are uh, rolling out a la the uh, JADEC mm -hmm. and others. You mm -hmm. get it. So that's the way to grow a nation and to be able to stabilize uh, your currency. As long as these capital flow, you know, when we paid this uh, contractors and co, a lot of them will, you know, repatriate they say you some haven't of paid their them. dollars. They you say know? The no, no, we've paid, paid a lot of them. them. We've paid a lot. You've of paid them. all the contractors. No, 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 no. I've said the time without okay. number here. And so once those payments are effective, especially some coming all the way mm. from 2013, 2016, there about, uh, people are owed contractors. <laughs> and so when they are paid and they begin <coughs> uh, flight, that's what we call capital flight. You take mm. it away, the pressure on the uh, dollar is going to go up. Demand supply mm. conundrum. So uh, there's, there's hope for uh, the Ghanaian. Let's keep there's, there's, our there's focus. A, there's, a, there's a contractor who... Uh, he's a road hey, contractor, contractor who man. sent me, I, and I could share the message with you. I don't no, want to no, put no, his name no, out I there yeah, I don't you know, for stigma. I don't he says, my brother, and this is from him to me, yeah. my brother, can we organize programs about the sector minister making noise about payments to contractors 
always and creating confusion in the country. What do we do? He wants he wants of us course, to, to organize yeah, something. And that. I told him, look, they should organize a press conference yes, to cover yes, it for them. That's all. So that's all. they and are they are disputing yes. the fact that the monies have been paid. No, there are certain brackets. Bands were given. Okay, those within a certain bracket will be paid. A certain bracket, forty percent paid to them and all that. That's the arrangement okay. that was there. All right. And so there's hope and, and I'm excited about <laughs> the way things are going. Free SHS and Co is made people have money in their pocket this six months be expanding some of them it's okay. going to be better going forward correct is there money in your pocket <laughs> christmas is here you don't celebrate christmas i'm sure you have friends who celebrate yes, christmas I do. but you is there money in your pocket he celebrates and many I like the, friends the, celebrate the cap, you know when yes. i went to tamale they explained the meaning if you wear it in a certain way yeah. you are thank in you trouble. Yeah. thank you i i let me say good morning to you my brother and interesting friend comrade and also good morning to the viewing public and of course the good people of tamale Central. I mean, it's amazing sometimes listening to my friends from the MPP. They miss no opportunity to insult mm. the people of this country. When wow. Ghanaians are suffering and struggling, wow. when the Afro barometer indeed indicates that Ghanaians are worse off, wow. when prices of items are escalating, when indeed you have the city that is falling like a mango and the dollar is no longer a good friend of Dr. Baumia. The dollar is running like Usain Bolt mm -hmm. and the city is running like my two-year-old son. And I think that it is extremely worrying that instead of you appealing and pleading mm -hmm. to the consciences of the Ghanaian people, what they do, just as they did at La, was to insult the people of this country how, how and so? complain. How so? Well, if they say that the Ghanaians didn't have any justifiable reason to complain, if they attribute every genuine and honest complaint of ordinary Ghanaians, most of whom voted for the MPP, to be an NDC cacophony, that is extremely insulting. You see, it's very clear. And I would just show you something. With all the things they claim they did, or what they did at La was to peddle falsehood. And the sad aspect of it is that the falsehood peddling was championed by no less a person than the president and Dr. Baumia. The purpose for every single economic policy is to improve the lot of the Ghanaian people. Yeah. But the statistics provided by this same government, by the fiscal service, I will provide you evidences. If you are creating jobs, it means that the rate of unemployment ought to be what? Reducing. Of course. It is only under the NPP. And I'll give you this. But, 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 but Comrade, to be fair, Comrade, 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 to be fair, to be fair to, be fair to the government, really mm. there are students who are graduating year on year. Oh yeah, I agree. And so just if, as students, you, just as students were graduating year well, on year well, under if, you, if you create two thousand jobs, mm -hmm. and there are already unemployed people who get to fill that, I would, I would, and and then new graduates are coming up. Johnny, I will give you the reason why I say okay. that this <clears throat> government is a complete failure, and oh, no wonder wow. it is falling like a pot <laughs> of cash in two thousand and fifteen. 2015, the unemployment rate in Ghana was 6.81. Oh, you keep 2015, 2016, it reduced to 6.77. Okay, 2017, it reduced to 6.6. So you realize that there is a, there was a consistent reduction of the rate of unemployment. And clearly, the reduction in 2017 mm -hmm. has to do with the measures put in place by the NDC from 2014. <laughs> because you see, Johnny, 2014, the unemployment rate was 6.48. From 2014 to 2015, it rose to 6.81. And it's understandable. It's understandable because when you formulate policies and implement them, you wouldn't reap the benefit of it that same year. It has yes. to take a year or two. Right. Okay, so if it was 2.6.48 in 2014, but increased to 6. Point, to 6.81 in 2015. Mm. Now, that was the beginning of the policies yielding results. Mm. So by 2016, you know it that. reduced to 6.77. 2017 reduced to 6.63. <coughs> The reduction in 2017 has to do with the policy intervention the NDC government made in 2014-15 system. Now look at 2018. Unemployment rate increased to 6.7. But, but it's supposed to be I'm at saying, least, I mean, you, you, no, I'm just you, saying that you know that policy 
I mean, mm -hmm. first two years, yes, but yeah, but what five, I'm saying is by five years, no, but I'm talking have about I'm talking about a reduction. But I'm but that's I'm saying that by five years, yes, it should have matured no, enough to be no, Johnny, to be Johnny, at Johnny, four Johnny, Johnny, that is no, no, it's no, correct, I want this it's one correct but I'm Good. saying that. So, so if it started 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, we should actually not be seeing a no, Johnny, we should if we, if the fundamentals no, Johnny, are we proper. should because mm -hmm. from 2014 it started reducing. So it means that the policy interventions mm -hmm. that were put in place by the NDC, perhaps in 2013, started yielding results. Right. It started falling from 2015, 2016. How come 2017 it fell in 2018? Mm -hmm. The unemployment rate actually rose. What, what do you what do you attribute in 2018, to, to that? Because it's a mirage of policy. This government have no policy intervention that is geared towards reducing unemployment. The only thing they have indeed boasted about repeatedly and which has not been investigated by journalists is NAPCO. And I have said here on several occasions mm -hmm. that the idea of recruiting 100,000 is the, is the legendary lie. Because per the government statistics itself prove that they never recruited 100,000. But you know why? How come that it started reducing from 2015, reduced 2016, reduced 2017, and 2018, unemployment rose from 6.6 6 in 2016 to 6.71 in 2018. So if they come out and say that we have indeed reduced unemployment, and the president and the vice president and any other person who had the opportunity to speak on that day, indeed they alluded to the fact that Ghanaian are better off. Now, if Ghanaians are better off, how come the rate of unemployment indeed has increased? The government says, government. look, uh, so planting for food and jobs, planting for uh, export and rural development, um, one district, one factory. One district, uh, one factory uh, is another mirage. NAPCO, they will have an electrifying effect. So what electrifying I, effect? So if I have a job in, in planting for food and jobs, um, the guy who supplies a fertilizer is also getting a job. The guy who harvests <laughs> is getting a job. The guy who plants is getting see, a job. You see, Johnny, the reason why, the reason why these things 000. are not yielding, you know, the needed results. Mm -hmm. One, the planting for food and jobs, when we challenge the minister to provide us evidence why he thinks that it is, it is creating jobs, you know what he did? No. He looked at the number of fertilizers that were distributed and multiplied it by three. That was what he did. So that the was 745,000 was That it. is a mirage. He couldn't provide a scintilla of evidence. And again, Nabko, I just told you mm. that per the statistics provided by the same government, mm. that they were recruiting 100,000 and they were paying each beneficiary 700 Ghana cities. Mm. Multiply 700 Ghana cities by 100,000. It will give you 70 million. Yesterday, so again, yesterday, again, yesterday John again, Mahama said Nabko, Nabko, Nabko. So Every multiply month. 70 Every million month. by 12. Every Look, month. Uh, oh, Every yesterday, month. So yesterday. 1,340 <laughs> million is annually. So That's how much explain. did you have in the budget in 2008? Allow me to ask a question. I have uh, had an encounter with the CEO. Please note your concerns. Please note your concerns. These are fat matters. Please note your concerns. And it's in the media John, budget review. 97,000. Yesterday, John Mahama, President John Mahama said. Yesterday, President John Mahama. Gentlemen. Let's speak the finance minister. This is not a campaign platform. Let's educate our public. You see, I'm not a fault with this. Don't worry. It's scaring them. Please note your concerns. Thank you. Concerns, Thank you. I, yesterday, I, I thought I was just making a yes, point. If you no, could be, allow me because to you mentioned that, no, you so I want to come in there. So I want to come in there. Yesterday, John Mahama said that <laughs> NAPCO is a quick fix yeah. and that he will find a permanent fix. Oh, yeah. his, idea, his idea was that we are employing in areas that are already full yeah. and we will have to investigate and do a certain yeah. analysis, yeah. Uh, HR investigate. analysis, to know <laughs> where to employ some more. But are the jobs there? Do, do you do, talk about this? Do you know the reason way? why, with all this noise they have made about NAPCO, unemployment rate has actually increased oh, what do you think from, to six, from 6.6 .6 and the NDC mm. to 6.71. The reason is that they have been peddling falsehood. How? Look, in this country, in How? 2016, Johnny, we engaged 110,000 young people under youth employment Not program. True. Not and true. the evidence is Not very true. is very is very clear because youth in sanitation Not alone true. was sixty five thousand. Youth in other models, including paid internship, mm -hmm. which has been christened as NAPCO by this government, had about forty five thousand. So true. if you had sixty five thousand on sanitation, who were all on payroll mm -hmm. and they were actually being paid, 
and they were actually being monitored. By the time you left? Please, please. But, but why, 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 are they, why are they on the streets asking for No, I will tell you, no, no. They, they, are, they are not. Under the NDC, I'm saying no. youth employment program. You didn't leave any areas? No, we didn't. We and you know what they have done? They now, under youth employment program, they are not indeed engaging anybody. The communication service that by the way, sure. President Muhammad says is going you, to scrap. Are you sure about that? Who are they <laughs> engaging? So, by, the, so the by, new people who are finding new jobs. Oh, job George, allow me, allow me. Yes, allow me. Yes, allow me. Yes, George, allow me. So you know, the new you know, people who know, are finding you know, jobs you know the lies under NAPCO, uh, under uh, YEA, no, under yeah, yeah, N N you know why? You know why? You know why? Yeah, they have indicated that they are going. Them. Hold on. Yeah, they have indicated that they are going to roll out models. They have indicated that. But I want to do this. It's not that I'm doing this. Okay. And that is why I am challenging this government to tell us but, but what they do with the communication service tax, mm. which was an act of parliament giving a portion of it to youth employment program. In fact, youth employment program under this government, the only model they claimed publicly mm. that they engaged was the youth in community service, that is the Zoom police. They even lied with the figure they said youth they had engaged. Oh, it's not under youth employment program. And you see, <laughs> when they said that youth and have, we have had a lot I'm, of them I'm who are surprised. complaining. Ask your viewing public, those who haven't been paid. So the simple question, the reason why the unemployment rate has actually mm. increased mm. and that this government, even though they are making a whole lot of noise about their creating jobs, mm. is because what they have provided is nothing short of a mirage. Because the figures they claim they have provided is absolutely fabricated. He is saying that okay. it was in the budget mm. of 2019. Mm. He said that. That they engaged 97,000. Even with the 97,000. Multiply that by 700 Ghana cities and tell me how much you get. And go and look at the 2018 financial state statement. That is the budget. Mm. How much was allocated for now? Please, please. I'm saying that too. You see, when you are talking about those you engage. He is not saying he doesn't seem to appreciate it. You are looking at the ending year. You are looking at those you engage. The figure that was provided by the minister in the 2019 budget for your, the purposes of your education is that when you are presenting a budget, you need to give report of the previous year. So that is where the, the 97,000 is coming from. Even with the 97,000, if you multiply that by 700, 700, 700 Ghana cities, okay, you are not going to get anywhere near what they have provided. And I Challenge him on the same program. So you're saying that, that the, 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 the allocation, the allocation, it was a cooked action. Versus, they never engaged that. What was actually given? It's not true. Okay. And even with uh, the little, the uh, small figure uh, they have engaged, people are crying that they haven't been paid. But you see, I just went uh, through the. Wrap up for me. I just went through the, I just went yes, through the yes, NPP yes. manifesto, <laughs> which he was not willing to even give me. And, oh, and oh, yes, oh, and, oh, and, oh, and oh, he oh, wasn't oh, willing. You are reading his. I'm saying that he wasn't willing to give me. I had to struggle to have this manifesto and you know johnny frankly speaking yeah. i am flabbergasted yeah. that some of the things i see in the mpp's manifesto frankly speaking i am shocked whether we will come to the manifesto did we judge, go or did we come judge take a bite on this one mutala is questioning uh, the figures Not that you're cool. putting out about employment the vice president last yeah. sunday spoke about the fact that more jobs are being created yeah, yeah then, then somebody fired crazy. back and said look the collapse of the banking sector itself, I mean, yeah. the, the job losses yeah. and the attendant jobs that have also been lost through there cannot be equal to the jobs you say you have created. So, in actual fact, people have lost more jobs than the jobs that have been created. Here is Mutala questioning even the figures that you put up. What do you say? Yeah, uh, uh, you know, Mutala can engage in what he's engaged in, you know, because they are scared with the phenomenal performance of this government as far as uh, job creation is concerned. And then, one, on the banking sector collapse, it had collapsed. And we just came to say, look, this is the problem we are facing. Less, you know, it's like uh, your nephew's, you know, a wound on the heels of your nephew. You need to, you know, open it up and dress it properly. And that's what we have done. Okay. Oh, otherwise, allow otherwise, the, the banking sector was going to collapse like packs. You get it? And then nothing. The jobs, the few jobs that, you know, would, were, were lost, all the jobs would have been gone anyway. And so what we did was to, you know, save the sector. Okay, and get the Ponzi, so-called Ponzi scheme within the banking sector. 
you, you, you heard people saying uh, some of the bankers were, you know, robbers in suits mm. at the beginning mm. of the whole uh, cleanup exercise, right? Did you, did you have you found any robbers yet? Oh no, but people are go being, you know, going to be taken to court to answer. When? You know, they, the they, process they, is the going. Says by the well, somebody, of the you remember mm. when uh, the capital bank guy Atuation. was? Yes, was, but, but the finance uh, minister. Uh, people are saying it's witch hunting. But, okay? but, but George, that is but, but George, part, yes. the finance minister says by the close of the year yes. we're going to see a lot more people in court. So far, it's only Atuician and, and maybe Reverend Odonko and two other people who are okay. in court. Okay. I'm saying that yeah. there were seven banks yeah. in this matter. Yeah. The, their board chairman, their board members, their uh, top executive and all of that. Today is the 24th. We have only six, seven days to the end of the year. Yeah. Where, where, where are the dockets? You need to get a well-prepared docket before you go to but court. But the finance you don't just minister says, at you the end of the year, of the year okay. is ending. It's, it's where okay. are the dockets? It's okay. We are preparing the dockets, okay? Allow them to take time. I would rather the prosecution team prepares to build a very solid case before you go stand before a judge. You don't just run to that point. And the other aspect of, of the whole issue, we keep <coughs> saying NAPCO. Yeah, NAPCO mm. is, is really... Uh, something that is uh, scaring the NDC. It, they are facts. Really? The, the young people are there. They've been given opportunities to serve. Have, when was the last time you heard of unemployed graduates demonstrating in town? Okay, it was a constant phenomenon under oh. President John Romani Mahama, right? They, they are asking for their money. No, no, no. Let me. I said. I, I, I explained it here the other time, as uh, Dr. Nyas explained. Okay, to the Ghanaian people. Uh, <laughs> You get it. Don't you allow him. I've told him. He says Dr. Nyaz doesn't have a PhD. No, that's, okay. a, another that, that's another matter. That's another matter. He's contesting him, so no, he should go there. Stop and, 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 which he doesn't have. Stop it. Now, Dr. Nyaz is, is Dr. your competitor, yes, so, yes. so we cannot Dr. take... Dr. Nyaz, where you come yes. that yes. nice young man... Uh, Let, let's make progress. So you're saying yes, that yes. the NDC is not comfortable with yes, their figures from NAPCO. Look, I've heard some NDC people wondering where we are. Nanado is getting all the monies and other things to roll out all the programs he's rolling out. Okay? Serious. They cancelled allowances. They couldn't sustain that. And so my fear for Ghanaians is that, are you sure President Mahama has the mental capacity and fortitude to sustain all these big programs that Nanado is the, rolling the out? The teachers are complaining. Okay? They Let's say, come to, the let me come the, to the, the teachers are complaining. Hold yes. on. The teachers are complaining. And I've spoken to a few of them. They say, look, previously, we we're not give, being given allowances. But we were not paying for utility bills. And we were getting free food in school. I don't get that. Okay, so the allowances yes. were cancelled. Yes. But they were not paying for electricity and water, and they were getting fed in school. These are the teacher trainees. Okay. Now they say the allowance is back, but we are paying for utility, electricity, water, and we are buying our own food. If we do the calculation, you're a math teacher, yeah. we are actually spending more on food, electricity, and water Done. than we were doing. You it's know. not true. It's not and true. And that, that's it's what the teachers true. are saying. I have been a train. I'm a trained teacher. Just right? like me. I went to college. And I Just took like allowances, me. right? Under Jerry Rollins, right? I took allowances. What they do is they take <laughs> all those things and then the balance is given that's to That's not true. <laughs> you get it. The so that's what <laughs> they are doing now. That's how come they get a net figure oh. around 250 thereabout. Mm. A net figure. Because mm. the actual amount they give them is about 400 and, or 500 cities. Mm. And they take those commitments and then you're giving the net figure. Ask them. That, that is all. I have said it there. Uh, I, I, am, I, 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 I told you, you, you here can, last yeah. time. I'm the founding first vice president of the Teacher Trainees Teacher Association. Trainees Association. Of that. We founded TAG and USAID. Mm. Right? Which year? 1996. That's 1995. a lie. That is a lie. Tab was it. inaugurated on my hey, campus, Presbyterian that, Training that, College. That, okay. We will talk about teachers. We will talk about teachers. Uh, Ask anybody. I am later. a founder. We founded Tab. We drafted I'll Constitution of Tab. So Accra Training College. Okay, That's talk. where we met all the time. Okay. Okay. Right. One NDC guy. Let me tell you a small story. He he was saying, <laughs> oh, he will come. The ET man sir, was Minister of Sports, right. Youth and Sports. Sports at the time. And then he he was the guy was is NDC. A lot, Aloysius, and he was <coughs> watching me. He would go there, and then he, unfortunately, I told uh, E.T. that he was forming an NDC youth wing Where? at the colleges. Okay. And we, the leadership, didn't know. At, the, so, at the time, were you MPP too? I was 
very MPP, but you, you know, sure? not you sure? too political, you sure? right? Yeah, okay. I was very MPP. I've sure? been MPP since '92. I was there. Are you okay. sure? So, so let's get <laughs> back. Let's, let's, go. let's yes. get back to that yes. question. So, I lost so, what I was Chris, saying. Christmas. The guy, the guy later when ET means I was traveling, mm. and then he said we they, we were going to have a congress. ET said he was, the date wasn't convenient for him. We changed the second mm. time. Mm. Then the third time, then we said no, we won't change. We will stick to that. And then ET later realized the group is actually not an NDC. Do you mm -hmm. know why he did? No. He left the guy. He left the guy out for some time. See, and later the IGP yeah, was okay. there. So, took the so guy. quickly, quickly. Okay, I'm telling you, quickly, you'll have a bite on that. Quickly, the Christmas is is here. Good. Uh, and the NAPCO guy, the the NAPCO NAPCO guy say, yeah. look, for two months we have not received our monies. Yeah. You have explained that somebody needs to go and uh, verify their accounts yeah. and biometric and all of that. Yeah. These guys say, we have done this over and over again. How many okay. times do we need to do it? No. Christmas is here, it's true. and yeah. the Christmas is dry for them. It's true. What is their hope? <clears throat> today, oh. today, after today, tomorrow is a holiday. The day after tomorrow is a holiday as well. What do they yeah. do? Uh, and you got this message recently? Yes. Yeah, because yes. I know of the, some of the challenges Dr. Nas has actually said. Uh, we have about, uh, we, we are talking about 97,000, and I've said about 11,000 is exited to permanent Stop job. There's exit program for all mm. NAPCO trainees. Uh, and so we, the challenge is about 3,000 of them who mm. are having some of these challenges, eh? right? So these yeah. are matters. If three thousand or ten thousand of them are having this, figure? you know, social media. If a few, how no, did that, he come by that? No, no, but I'm, I'm telling you direct report from the you. CEO. He didn't need to give it to Ghanaians. He gave it to you. Allow, allow him, Butala, to make his point. Make progress, George. Are you sorry aware I'm a member of the government communication team? George, sorry about that. Let's so you are forward. telling me we don't have an interface <laughs> with the CEOs and ministers? We don't do that? <laughs> Butala, uh, As government communication Butala, Butala, team Butala, members, we don't have interface George, with the CEOs don't be drilled. And let's, let's move on. Oh, so doc, Dr. Yas told you that, what, <laughs> about 3,000 of them? Yeah, you know, have, have challenges, okay. you know, yes. And, and I gave you the basis right. for that. And they are doing everything to resolve that. You get it? And they resolve it, then others also pop up. You know, because of whatever reasons. Mm -hmm. And if you don't go and uh, you're not validated, you don't get your pay. You get it. And wherever you are, there must be validation. And if the, those talent and the East Switch, mm. these are some of them. They are doing everything to resolve it. So, so, so their, Christmas will, it. their Christmas will be Christmas, dry. Christmas, we still have some of those people. Mm. Uh, it's unfortunate because salary issue has been dealt with uh, as of, I think, uh, yesterday or three days ago, right? Mm. And so it means you are out <coughs> next month. I don't. I believe a lot has been resolved. Mm. The issue is before the leadership. They are resolving it. So let's be patient with them, and they'll resolve. Okay. Uh, because I, I gave the case of somebody was saying yesterday we're having some argument on some of our platform. The graduates, uh, this is, some are saying of what use is it to be given employment and you're not paid right. over a period. Mm. So what? If you don't have a job, you're not credit worthy. If you have a job, and I know you have a job, you'll be paid at the end of the month, mm -hmm. even if it's five months, ten months ago. I know you'll be paid. When I'm supporting you, I'm the, sure you'll be paid. Some teachers will yeah. disagree with you, and they say that, look, we have worked for two, three years, and sometimes, you know, you are trained teachers. Yeah. You graduate from school. Yeah. You do your teaching practice. Yeah. And then you get in there and start working. Yeah. Somebody has to process your document yeah. at the uh, account, register, yeah. uh, accountant general. Yeah. Um, uh, and then control and accounting general. Yeah. Now, your details don't get in there, but yeah. you start working. Yeah. Sometimes you could work for a whole year, maybe yeah. more. Yeah. And then when the money has to be paid, the back pay has to be given to you, they give you three months. They did it. And the teacher they said, the teacher said, President look, Muhammad did that. So, so when you, so when you, so when you say, so it's when you say, so when you say that <laughs> if you don't have a job, you are not credit worthy. And if you are working, you know that even it's after guaranteed. 10 months, you'll it's be guaranteed. paid. It's guaranteed. The money, the teacher we are not getting, my are not getting you, the money. I came here to have a discussion. Some of my mm. our workers decided they were going to strike and all that. You, you remember the demonstration and co. We came here. About two years, every dime has been paid to everybody. Including that of the teachers? No, no, I'm talking about my outfits. <laughs> yes. You get it. But, but what about you the teachers? It. What do no, you know? Teachers, no, the teachers try. Teachers, we are paying them. Some have <coughs> these challenges. Mm. Fact. I'm not going to. Uh, pretend it's not happened. When I was teaching, when I was there, you know, we had people who taught for two years, mm -hmm. uh, some 18 months, some 36 months. Mm -hmm. They were paid only three months. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that is the backlog that this government is dealing with. We are not shying away from that. 
We are dealing so, so and you, tackling. So you have not created uh, any at oh, all. Oh no, no, no. I, 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 according to the uh, striking NAT uh, mm. officer, I, I heard one of them saying we have similar challenges, and I'm not going to sit here to pretend <laughs> it's not happening under us mm. because it's mm -hmm. IPPD uh, problems. Right. You get it. And so we have some who have 11 months. He mentioned mm. it. Mm. 10 months, 11 mm. months, and then I understand 12 months or so. So it's still there. So their Christmas will also be dry. Oh no, some yes. If if you are not able to resolve it and get paid. Then you wait till after the Christmas. So all right? is not well after all. Oh, no, no. Majority. That's what I'm telling you. Go out there and see. People are saying it's a dry Christmas. I beg to differ. Okay. If I compare to 2015, 2016, it is not this dry. is not a dry Christmas. This is Christmas. juicy. And, and nurses who were home from 2012 mm. Uh, mm. to 2016 recruited over 54,000 of them are the working now. Okay. Over 60,000 okay. people in the Ghana you Education see, allow, Service allow, sector allow, allow, have allow, been allow, recruited. Right? <laughs> and so that is the hope <laughs> that we have going done. forward. Do right? Do right? NAPCO right. is live. Okay. And youth employment is rolling out different programs Would now. You know? Different program. Okay. There's a job center that is there. Okay, you assess and the, so mm. I was surprised when we came. They were not having that one at a point. They had he when he was there. Mm. Uh, I'm aware it was there was a point they had about 104, 105,000. But by the time they left, it just it had watered down. Okay, Fact. thank you. Mutala, stop, stop for Fact. me. George says models. you are the part of the problem. Okay. Why some teachers are not getting their okay. monies? First and foremost, and you should not be pointing at kids. First and foremost, he, peddled, he just told a lie. Every day, lie. I have. Please, please, please. Uh, George Allah, he kept quiet to you. So because you made you. that for <laughs> reference to me when I was there. When I was in NYEP, we never recruited up to 100,000. So How many did you recruit? About 60, 70,000. We oh, never wow. recruited up to 100,000. We got the 110,000 in 2016. By the way, 2016, I wasn't with NYEP. Okay. I was a deputy minister for oh, trade. So yes. don't peddle such falsehood. Oh, please, please. <laughs> Two. Oh, please, please. Let me finish. I beg you. Two, he also just insulted the sensibilities of teachers once again. How? I'll tell you the reason. I'm a teacher. Oh, but I'm a teacher too. A trained teacher. Make, make progress. I, I he think insulted. That the, the, the leadership of have teachers been. have lamented how they have been treated by this government. And they have indicated that they haven't been able to have their salaries. Mm. And they have indicated that they are worse off with the so-called reintroduction of teachers' allowances with quota. By the way, you or your IPPD forms were processed whilst you were still at college. And when you finish college, your appointment is guaranteed. You will even choose the unit you wanted under this government. When they claim they have reintroduced the teacher trainee allowances, the net is 250 Ghana cities. Under the NDC, net was 400 Ghana cities. You took us but to IMF that put a yeah. cap on Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, please, mm. please. Why? The senior minister mm. himself said that they could not recruit. Yet he recruited his two kids. Don't let us go there. Right. They had the opportunity to have gone out. What did they do with the IMF? They extended it. So I'm saying that oh. you had these same people who are now arguing. What is, if you ask anybody in the teacher training college, they will tell you they prefer what they were experiencing under the NDC. Are you sure? Where their jobs were secured. That when you finish, you didn't need to go struggle for a job. But even with this, when you finish, you have to write the licensee exam. Yeah, it's good. Professional. Is it not good? Why? At the law school, when you finish the law school, do you write any exams again? <laughs> Is it that they have a challenge with regards to the quality of teaching? Is that what they are suggesting? Is, is that why your mama says so cancel it? It, it doesn't make sense. And I can tell you as a trained teacher, is he telling me that the training that he got, got, he was not having the quality to teach? And what has changed? What progressive and visionary leadership do is that even when they sense some challenges, they take measures to solve them. What this government is doing, that you are given less than what you are getting, even with the so-called net. This is right that you finish, that examinations. I'm why coming and oh, I will tell you why. Must they also do that, now, even with the nurses? And I made a statement here, and I challenged TV3 to do the investigation. That Kwelebu, the nursing training college, they have the capacity a year to admit almost 1,000 students. Last academic year, they were asked to admit 96 students. Why? Oh, Go and find out. Why? I was here with the chief director of the, 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 board, the, the, the board chair. He never contested this. I was here with him. I was here with him. You claim he was there. He, please, Allah, please. Allah. So we'll I was here. And you I'll know check. what they did? But, but how did you come by this information? I would oh, we have a, that is why he no. was here when I made that allegation. And I said that if you think that it is not true, prove otherwise. Sure. And I'm yet to hear any contrary 
position from what I did. So and you, you know what they, they have did? space for thousands. Please, I'm saying that they have, they have the capacity. They have the capacity to admit thousand students an academic year. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please. Allah, George, they have, please note your concerns. Interestingly, you know. it was your other colleague. You can go and check right. the clips. Mm -hmm. They have the capacity I, to I admit more students. They were asked to admit 96 or 98 students. And you know what they did? No. They criminally charged every single applicant 100 Ghana cities. No, what, so they, what for? You pay non-refundable before for? you are interviewed. So what they did was that they invited every single applicant for an interview so that they can get the 100 Ghana cities from them. When they knew that they were given a quota not to admit up to 100 or 200 students. When they knew, allegation. I am telling you, and I challenge TV today, he was here. If indeed I made that allegation on national television and it was not true, I think that the integrity of the management of the hospital would come forward. That's what they did. So you see, if you have, let's say, 2,000 students <coughs> applying mm. for admission, and because they invited all of them to participate in the interview, and, that's and they, knew, they knew that they were not going to admit up to that number, they knew that they were given a quota by this government. But because of the 100 Ghana cities, every single student. But you know, you know why? But, 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 can I, can but, I make this point? Hold, 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 yeah. For every job yeah. opportunity, Thank yeah. you. you open it up, Thank yeah. you. people apply, Thank they you. they come for interview, yeah. you select those you want to take, that, that, and then the rest no, you, you do, say, you don't Thank do that. You, you don't do that. University of Ghana could have indeed made it, would have invited they do every, that. Please, please, please. If you don't understand things, let me explain. Ah. In admission into institutions, students get different grades. Right. So if you have, let's say, 5,000 students applying, and you have a quota of 96 or even 100, you can get even those who are qualified within that range, mm. about 300 or 400 sure. students. Right. So you don't invite all of them mm. to come for the interview. Why not? Because if you are inviting, or if someone has aggregate 8, and someone has aggregate 12, mm. and the number of people you want to admit into that school, mm. you have, maybe you have 100, you are supposed to admit 100. Mm and about 200 people got aggregate 8. Mm. Automatically, those who got aggregate 12 are cut off. Automatically. Because mm. even you have those who have qualified, mm. who have met the great point that you have to admit, mm. more than the number you want to admit. Right. So what is the use of inviting those who have gone beyond that? You see, you know could, why? Could, could there also be people who had aggregate 12 who would dazzle with brilliance at the interview? Oh well, hold and on. And not because they, no, their test knows. score is all right. You see, you see, no, no, in, George, in admission, me. he knows when you are admitting people for school, it is not for job. The only means by which you can assess for, for a professional. Yes, that's what I'm saying. The mm. only is is for education. They are now going to be trained as professionals. Right. The only means by which you invite people, you admit people, is the great point. Okay. Not whether they come to. It's not a job. So if you have 100 people to admit, and you have 250 people having aggregate 8, okay? Mm. And then you have 300 people having aggregate 12. Mm. And then you have to admit only 100. You only need to invite those who have aggregate 8, which is it's more wrong. than the number. It's wrong. Which is it's more wrong. than... Can I, can uh, I finish? Okay, Johnny, help wrap Johnny, up on this one. Which is, I disagree oh, with you. please. Which is more than the number you it's are admitting. Okay. But Johnny, you see, he would argue... Again, he let, let, let's get Johnny, let's get no Johnny, hold on. Johnny, you raise, that, tell you why. raise your yeah, point of disagreement. Yes, the, the, no, the, no, you the, finish. The let him, because he's a teacher as well. Yes, so the why? But when he was talking, you asked me to allow him. Point, you, I have allowed. I'll give you. I'll give you. To enter University of Ghana, you need a grade twenty-four. Okay, so you are within uh, the up bracket to, uh, six to twenty-four. Up to six, six to twenty-four, yeah. right? So you are within the uh, so you must qualification be bracket. You must be okay, so the university can decide to open up that everybody within. But, but the he says that should come. there's a bit of okay? dishonesty if they when they decide to do that. They are within the remit of the law. But says the there's a bit of dishonesty when you have space for ninety-eight, or yes. you have been asked to just uh, admit ninety-eight, yeah. and you invite over a thousand people to come. For the 98 slots, he, he has a problem with that. And you Do you have a problem with that as well? <laughs>
And no, Johnny, I feel you are giving everybody opportunity to prove himself. Johnny, you once he he's qualified, with, uh, he's within the qualification bracket. Give him the opportunity Johnny, if you can. Okay, he is thinking about this. hundred cities. Uh, so, uh, oh. Government that is giving allowance of five hundred cities. What, 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 what was you the hundred cities for? What was the hundred cities? No, I also for? heard certain Johnny. schools for the interview they took hundred cities. But what was it for? What is he also heard? Yes. Hold on. What was it for? No, no, no. I heard it. I will. I will sit here. But George, George. I don't lie. George, when I sit George, on George, programs, I don't George, lie. If you are, if I they are bought, you like, George, no, if no, the no, student no, no. nurses had bought yes. forms yes. and they had attached mm. their slips yes. and they had been qualified Good. up to that stage yeah. to be invited for well, the yeah, interview, interview. Yes. why were they paying 100 cities? I, I can what tell. For? That one, you should ask the uh, nurses council. You have not, not, you have not heard? I don't, I've heard. I've okay. heard that Johnny, uh, they took 100 cities. Some point of point our people were even not happy that Johnny. we are giving them allowance. So but has the government asked the question about it? Has the government asked the question? Doctor, 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 doctor Anthony Ziasari. Yes. Doctor Anthony Ziasari, a former director general of the Ghana Health Service yeah. is now the medical advisor, or if you like, the technical advisor on yeah. health issues at the presidency. Yeah. It, this must have happened under him. Yeah, I think has he bothered to ask any time. questions? And Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. About Nobody that. But has I've told also me. heard this hundred cities okay. uh, uh, matter. Johnny. Another fact that okay. is on okay. I know, which Alan. maybe you verify. I have known that most times the number that is leaving is the number that is being admitted okay. in each year. Okay. okay. So okay. let's verify those things. Okay. All so right. if, if Cape Coast uh, Nurses mm. College is, you know, having about 500 people leaving this year, next year the admission criteria is we having 500 vacancies. So, so it, it is not that somebody from an, an upper office asked anybody to employ... Uh, to yeah, reduce any rating. numbers. No. And that's not true. No. Okay. The okay. Minister, minister, so that's, that's, that's what man. we are looking at. I don't know like. whether he listened to himself. <laughs> the Minister of Health himself admitted they have given them quotas. And you know why? They have given Every quotas. Every school has a quota. Finish. Allow him, George. Oh. I, I, I kept him at oh, bay for God. you. Exactly. George, allow him. Even though if I was talking, he George, came in. George, allow him. Allow him. Sorry. No, I'm saying that. George, allow him. You have given them quota. And the quota is given on condition yeah. that government cannot pay if you give them that opportunity to admit up to capacity. No. Now, in this country, he just told another lie. Hey. <laughs> and that lie was peddled also by the president and the vice president you, you, at you, 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 I'll tell you why. Please, not, please. Are, no, no, slow can down. I, can slow I, down, can slow I down, make my slow down. On this platform, yes. for our president and our vice president, I'm very, very uh, careful. So you can say president that... President Mahama was from Bush. No, he didn't do no, please no, please no no i am not going to accept this because Motala, people called him Motala, all sort of names Motala, what did Mohamed, you guys say when i when i sit here and the president mahama wow and the president kufuado wow. i will call you wow. to order that my one, training that, so, my training so, hold on hold on my training uh -huh. from the ghana institute of journalism does not so which word permit you want me to use rather than I, i'm saying that look you be very, be very no, moderate. No, tell me, how do be I... Be very moderate. Can you give me a word I should Be very moderate. How? how he called me a liar for being attacked I, first vice president. How do I? A fact. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know. How do I? Which word should I use? There are no synonyms. <laughs> no, tell me. I, I can't find any. Okay, then let's make If you this. have an elderly person mm. who ought to be telling the people of this country the truth, now, if you have the same government that claimed that they recruited, and he reiterated that you're, same, you're that same false policy, that sixty thousand, mm. the Ghana Medical and 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 Midwifery Council, nurses medical, and Midwifery Council, yes. said that they don't have nurses more than seventy thousand in this country, mm. and one single year they have recruited fifty. No. Oh, hold on, oh, hold on, hold on, fifty-four thousand. Mm. One we have less than seventy thousand, so it means that in this country we had just less than twenty thousand nurses who were preaching. Is this not a lie? Can you imagine? Is this not a lie? Okay. And again, and please, and again, again. Without basis. Let's, you let's, see? let's move on. See, let's move on. Uh, he, he, let's, let's move on. We, we, have, we have two minutes. We have, we have, we have two minutes. We have two minutes. We, we have two minutes. We have two minutes. Hopefully, hopefully, yesterday, I saw the, the vetting of his lordship, uh, no, Justice no, Inieboa no, in Parliament. No, and um, we understand that as of close of business yesterday in Parliament, Parliament had approved his nomination yeah, by the yeah. president. So hopefully yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he should be sworn in any any time shortly. Yeah. What what are your expectations of this new Chief Justice? And I'm asking this on the back of the fact that there, there's a backlog <coughs> of law students who say they have been unduly disqualified and pushed out of the opportunity to have legal education. 
there's also the new uh, ruling that the 24-48-hour period, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, police should not take advantage of all of us. So. And the total, the totality of justice delivery system in this country, what are expectations of justice? Very in high world? expectation because prior, when he was nominated, I had a lot of people who were excited that he's a pro-reformist. If indeed he's a pro-reformist, then he has to uphold uh, many of the changes that you know people expect to happen in the legal uh, fraternity and then legal education mm. but johnny he made a revelation yesterday that startled me and a lot of people Which is. Well. <laughs> uh, he said he was ready to publish the performance of the students you know right yes mm. in, in in the public mm. because he thought they performed so abysmally Right, and he was ready. Anybody pushing him, he was ready to put it out there. Now, what he said something that is like certain schools that have been given their uh, opportunity or the privilege, the faculties. To, yes, the mm. faculty to to have a faculty of law within mm. uh, the uh, this thing, are not using the requisite and relevant textbooks. Mm. Okay, at the LLB level. That's the that's the accreditation board's job. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I think the accreditation board and general legal counsel should hit this and take the necessary step to ensure, mm. okay, co continuous inspection mm. uh, of the, uh, the faculty mm. uh, curricula, okay, so that the proper things are okay. uh, steady. So I'm, I'm a bit that, you know, at least he has four years uh, ahead of him, mm. okay, uh, to implement uh, all reforms that he intends uh, to bring in the legal education sector and then the general legal environment in itself and then the bench so that we can have justice. The last one yeah. on the matter of uh, uh, corruption in the judiciary, judiciary right. uh, he, he, he says he's going to uh, take his head on, right? Mm. Uh, and that would be good, whether perception but, but or real. But he will take a good from his friend if it's presented to him. <laughs> If a friend um, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. But that you see, sometimes we, we know our limits, okay? Mm. Are you saying a goat is going to influence, you know, especially when it's Christmas? And then next year, or you anticipate that your son is going to cause a problem, but mm. still, as so when he comes to court, we're going to uh, okay. let him off the hook. Great. No, no justice will do that. So let's allow them to do uh, okay. their way. But he should carry the gavel and strike when the need be. Yeah, so that he can interject again. Oh. No, no, he, he won't interject. Oh, yes. Mutala, that, Mutala, please, so please. Apologies to you well, if I he feels back. No, Sorry. I don't. I, I, George, I'm just pointing George, out to George, you let me, let me so put that he can interject let me put a, unnecessarily. Let me put that's why he did I, 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 I don't blame him. I blame no, you. No, no, because sorry. you no, need to keep him on check. No, I've been doing that. You've been doing that to him as well. You've been doing it to yourself. Yes, today. We'll play back the clip. We could play back the clip. But George... Allow, this is his closing thoughts. Allow him, yes. Allow, so allow him to make his closing thoughts. He didn't interject. Well, first and foremost, what are your, what are your well, expectations of... of uh, are you asking of my closing thoughts or the CJ, asking of my that's, expectations? That's the last thing you're saying. So the oh. CJ expectations... Well, I, 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 it went well. I have no problem whatsoever. There were several issues that people raised, and I have no doubt. Mm. I think that what all of us, public <laughs> office holders, should understand that when you take an oath of office, mm. you shouldn't think that it's just an, a political expediency. It is between you and your creator. Mm. And if you fail to be fair, if you fa fail to be just, mm -hmm. on the day of judgment, you have the opportunity to stand before the creator of all things, and you would account. And I have always said repeatedly that even public office holders, mm. if you take a dime from the state, you think you are just taking money from the state, but you are taking money that belongs to almost 30% Mm. of the Ghanaian people. So I expect the judges and the chief justice, you know, has been approved by parliament to understand that he is coming to serve God and he ought to be honest, he ought to be sincere, he ought to be fair because when the judiciary is corrupt, then we are doomed. Yeah. When the judiciary is corrupt, because they serve as the arbiter between us mm. and sometimes death because if a judge sits on a case mm. and takes a decision that is corrupt, that can lead to an execution of a person. That can lead to someone being denied his liberty, mm. his move, his, his will to move. That denies somebody the opportunity for his livelihood. Mm. Then you should know so, and for which reason I have no doubt at all in the sincerity of the justice system. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt, but they would have to, to also demonstrate that. Because we have had instances where the, the, the judiciary became a playing field 
for political campaign. And in mm. many African countries, we have had some of this. In any country where you see that there is upheaval, mm. there is chaos and anarchy, it could be attributed, even if it is electoral results, mm. it has to do with the way the judicial system is okay. handled. But let me make this point. Oh, go, go and check, go and check, like go and check at, at FIDA rules. Go mm. and check at road fund. Contractors haven't been paid. Contractors that, has that connected to the chief justice system? Well, it has because you prevented me. You prevented me from making the point when he paid. Oh, oh, come here! I wish the Muhammad was this guy. Nice you see, you see, you see, you see Johnny, Johnny, you see the hypocrisy in this country. <laughs> President Mahama was called all sorts of names. All of us were called criminals and thieves. I didn't call you. Oh, please. I am saying that you guys never saw anything wrong I with that. If you. an elderly person who ought to be sincere and see, honest is don't, lying, don't what do you think we should? Don't paste all of us with the same brush. I'm saying that a section of the media, if you choose yourself, look, you if you choose look, yourself to be that look, section of yeah, the media, look, I say, yeah. why? I will criticize. Is it the case of an old I will criticize. There is evidence against the president. Let me place this on record. I will criticize people. Nina, him for uh, I, side reason, I sit uh, here. Bosses. Okay, hold on, George. I if sit here. A clownish guy. I sit here. <laughs> look, I sit here and criticize people. Yeah. I sit here and ask questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't call people names. I ask the who called whose name. Well, I don't care. I don't what know. Is, if a person lied, he know. lied or he didn't I don't lie. know. But you I'm see saying, the hypocrisy in this don't world call and in this country. On my platform. Who, 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 did, who did we call? George, they lied. They lied. Oh please, oh please. Disaster management organization. Well, Comrade Mutala Mohammed is also a member of uh, the NDC's communication team. He is the aspiring member of parliament for the Tamale Central constituency and he's in a rate to win it. And, and um, Mr. President, good morning to you. Okay, I need to make my public advocacy now, gentlemen. Shh. Gentlemen, slow down, 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 slow down. Please, when you finish, you can talk about your NAT issues. Now, let's talk about my advocacy. Mr. President, good morning. Yesterday, you gave 100 more vehicles to the Ghana Police Service. These 100 vehicles are supposed to help them to fight crime and everything else. You have spoken about the ambulances. It took you 37 days to speak about the ambulances. And today is day 48 since we started the ambulances campaign. Hashtag is ambulances now, Mr. President. If we have every car to make crime not accessible, then we can also release the ambulances. Good morning to you. Merry Christmas, sir.